I do sell the G512. Damn, this is like actually terrible. Do some type razor. I haven't been doing that and I haven't had an issue with typing at all. Not type razor, but you know, like a different one. And yeah, I don't know, I haven't I haven't noticed a single issue with uh, with typing on it. So it's just like when I'm pressing multiple keys at once, it seems to just ignore one of them. Like it has like four key rollover or something. I don't know. Target is a white 12 story apartment building. Over. Hunter 2 1, this is Warlord. Solid copy. Uh, I have uh, Devil 1 1, flight of 2, F 15s online. Stand by for relay. Hunter 2 1, this is Devil 1 1, flight of 2 F 15s, time on station. And of course, it's one of those things that's happened. Like, it was happening a lot on the Gorlock like, stairs for some reason, which is weird. But outside of that, it's been happening almost never. So it's. Something that rare is really tough to uh, troubleshoot. Solid copy, Hunter 2 1. Rolling in now. Target acquired. Okay, I just got out of my way, that's very considerate. Chubby fingers. <laughs> okay, like that, that literally doesn't even make sense. I'm I'm holding a key and it's not doing the thing. Maybe if I was if keys were being pressed that I didn't want to be pressing, chubby fingers would make sense. Check software. Ducky doesn't have software. That's what I'm complaining about. Also, yeah, courtroom typing, it's like a whole different thing that you learn called stenography, and they get like 300 words a minute or something, because it's just like a straight up better system of typing, but it's probably really weird to learn. But, like, you just press key combinations to do whole words or something like that. Thanks for the sub. We get a key overlay for Twitch and watch the blood run happens. That is true as well. I don't know. I've never really liked key overlays. I feel like with my current layout, it would be a bit much to just like shove another thing in there. But I don't know. Yeah, I. Very lucky that I caught that early and not after he'd run several games. I don't know. <laughs> Just because I'd missed a bit and I wanted to go like see how he had done a certain section. I'm like, wait, why is there no audio? Right. Um. Yeah, so Andy is doing a full COD marathon, which is 12 games in a row. Um, and apparently his VODs had no audio, so that would have really sucked if he got to the end of that before realizing. He wouldn't have got to the end, because it's the multi-day thing, but like... Who, who knows if anyone would have watched the VODs until whatever time. This is easier when you don't pull out them. Go upstairs and look for the ACS module. No! Table. I need to knock. What? It just pinballed me away. This is so bad. I'm... Whatever. I 
Yeah, we had a lot of like people watching Bob One. We we know he had actual audio. It's just blood stuff. He didn't TP. No, he did TP. Never mind. I lied. I was actually really close to resetting because I was extremely certain he didn't TP. Looking at the arrow is. I mean, I probably don't really know what I'm looking for on the arrow to be honest. But it's also maybe not like super reliable. I don't know if he TPs at the same time every time, or how that works. I jumped down way too early, that was extremely stupid. Need more marathon gamers. I mean, I hopefully, potentially, plan on doing a future marathon at some point. Because that'd be cool, but it is seven hours, like, I actually don't know if I'm going to be able to. This is so much time, but like maybe. Boost. Ah, oh, right. Oh my god, really? But yeah, we should definitely get a soul to do the marathon as well, because he he seemed to show interest in doing it. Yeah, maybe we get zombies running sweet marathon by this one. They're used to the absurd hours. I do not really listen to music. The Russians man. ain't gonna let this massacre go unanswered. It's gonna get bloody. Too late, man. No any eyes of the world. He's getting away, Roach. Let's go, let's go. Ghost. That was a quick down. Nice. Any sign of Rojas right hand man? Time. Go with Eaton Royce and check out the place already. Any no sign of Rojas? That's where this Wait, guy is headed. Stopped again. Stand by. Let's go. I did okay, that was fapping good. <laughs> Trying to press three and just like match my melee button. God damn it. Whoa, I actually got melee there, I think. That's actually surprising. That's some impressive range. That was actually pretty quick. Take down. Damn. Overlord, this is Hunter 2 1 requesting air support. Over. Hunter 2 1, all air support is already engaged. Additional ground support is en route to your position, but has encountered heavy resistance. Mon Did you mean mindless for long zombies games? Also, I assume so, because it's like. It's just the same thing over and over and over again, right? Whereas the COD Marathon is like. Yeah, you're speedrunning, but it's different games with different mechanics, different levels the whole time. It's probably extremely different. But still, people who are used to doing like 12 hour streams or something would probably be a lot more easy to get into doing several games at a very speed runs. He was on a 32 hour stream. Uh, so you guys know Rixa, right? The guy who went and ran Black Ops 1 for a little while, like a year and a half ago, or whenever that was. Plus he, he makes YouTube videos and stuff, he's like semi-famous. Um, he was on like a 15 plus hour 
Yu-Gi-Oh live stream, Lost Ice Soul. And when I like looked, he basically said, "I'm I'm gonna keep going until like 21 hours." Like, and he was he was basically doing multiple runs of a seven-hour Yu-Gi-Oh run or something. <laughs> Okay, this is potentially really bad. Yeah, so some guy ran in there again. Okay, we good. I kind of almost have to rely on my teammates to clear that last guy. Because I don't know where he comes from. He's still alive or whatever. I don't know that famous clip, but it probably is. Keep these guys off of me. Tango down. Me. I think I actually hit the truck. Raptor is inside and secure. The door is shut. You guys keep eyes out. Friendly convoy is off to Mike. Okay, I'm gonna land this one far back. On this gonna be good. Hopefully. Yeah, two people left. It's fine. Yeah, don't do this too quickly. What? He didn't jump. I didn't boost. I'm like double clicking. I blame speed on mode for all these issues. <laughs> I don't have a good basis for this blame, but I'm gonna do it. I probably just double clicked too quickly, so it wasn't like in the missile yet. Oh god, my movement there was very bad. Oh my god. every doorway. Oh, he just died from some RPG. Okay. Not what I expected. This was fine. Pausing should be banned in zombies runs. I agree. <laughs> I mean, I okay. I, I'm not a fan of pausing in speed runs. It's kind of necessary in zombies runs <laughs> with how long they are. Like there becomes a point where you need to allow pausing for how long the run is. I think it also depends on the game though. Like even with COD runs being 2-3 to three hours long, I don't think pausing is necessary because of the amount of breaks the games naturally have. What the heck? Oh, Hunter Chiefs, this is Badger 1, paint the target, over. Oh. 
the bat be help. It's too close. Which we really need to be, just don't. But honestly, there's there are breaks in some COD games that are playing long enough. Most COD games even. But I've I've never had a thing where I've needed to like get up and leave the run in my two years of streaming. That's bad. I knew that was bad. I god damn it. This is an incredibly good check point, holy shit. <laughs> just a robot, yep. I don't know, all you people with your weird issues, just like, just don't. don't have issues exactly. Okay, yeah, that lost, that checkpoint lost me like five seconds, and I still had to like reorient myself to where I was. That's, that is the closest checkpoint I think I've ever seen. Um, I don't even think Second Sun is the best level for that, because it has a bunch of stuff where you need to like occasionally do input. Um, End of their own accord is three straight minutes, plus a load, which is going to be like two minutes of cutscene if you need it. There's stuff where you don't you need to do anything. These okay. <sighs> Placing that C4 was really really bad. I don't know why. The first one especially. The second one works really well. But it's further away, so it's slow. But the first one is just like, it's like really precise or something, and I keep missing it. Ah, uh, that's bad. Okay. Oh god, what is that? I swear to god, my grenade launcher is doing nothing! Why? Why? What? Bad. Technically time save. Okay, now just don't completely throw a task it. Go, go, go! One day I'm going to get to go like in green, and then I'm going to get like second try to and that's going to be great. And then the run's going to die somewhere else. I'm going to show too much already. Though. This is kind of bad. It's not great, but like I really can't complain about that. What was that like seventh try, something like that? That's not what I wanted to do. I fat finger actual issues. Okay, good enough. Flashbang really went first. Don't go up the last time, that's disgusting. The old shower room's about 30 feet ahead of you on the left. You'll have to breach the wall to get in. Okay, this isn't too bad. Pretty solid for a Cannot complain. 
don't die on this level. Let's see, you never die. Was that Corporal Soul in the corner there? Was that Blue Tiger carrying two cans? It's hard to tell like which name is which when I'm just flying past them. It's a, it's a it's a funny little like um, Easter egg, I guess, having names of like code community members in in speedrun mode, but you you have no time to like appreciate them, which makes it even funnier. Uh, oh my god, that jump is insane! Yeah, I'm permanently warp, right? And I think Eki is permanently so on cliffhanger. That was good. Oh, I picked up a second striker. That was beautiful. That's exactly what I needed. Okay, so I believe the trick here is to be as fast as possible when clearing the top floor. We'll see if I can manage that. Like getting on the sniper really early, basically. Overlord copies all. The evac site at the Washington Monument reports several transports away, but they are still vulnerable. Can you provide support from your position? Over. Copy that, 2-1. I believe the trigger is be as fast as possible. Yeah, that's basically what I said. It had a slightly hidden, deeper meaning to it though, that I was too lazy to explain. <laughs> so it just sounded kind of dumb. Yeah, okay, this, this wasn't faster. I, I don't know. This level is just confusing. Just three minutes flight every single time. I guess I'll take it. Yeah, this door opening is bad. Um, so I basically told Panda we should fix it, but I think he said it was like really dumb with how they had done everything there and it wasn't really plausible. So it's like, whatever. The Wait there, I guess. Stopping to grab that AK was totally not worth it. This dog is a little bit too close. Before soft lock now, although I'm pretty sure it it can't, but we'll see. That was really good. Oh my god! Actually, that pole has such a gigantic hitbox. Don't snipe me immediately, that's so rude. I 
I have no idea why the VTR didn't shoot me. I was so clumsy through that area. Why is there a grenade there? What the heck? Oh, the dog is still chasing me. Very nice. Okay, that was extremely sketchy actually, but we'll take it. Get off the street now, go. Don't do that. Oh god, oh god, yep, okay, that was incredibly terrifying. <laughs> that whole ending, whatever, <laughs> it worked, not gonna complain. Okay, so Panda updated Loose Ends, and I haven't played it since, so if something breaks and kills this run because, like, update bad, I'm gonna be pretty sad. But it should be fine. So, <laughs> Whiskey Hotel is like kind of slightly less sketchy than normal game, um, but I also take a safer route because I only have a pistol, which helps. Okay, this is absurd actually. I should not be red screen. Nice car. Did anyone see that car just flying over the back of the other one? getting absolutely launched. Die. Oh god, there's so many of them here. That explains it. There's just some there. Good clear, please. I think he didn't say the other place was clear. I am slightly worried. Clear. 
That's absolutely terrifying. I don't know where that extra guy came from. Oh my god. Legit almost died. Okay, good first wave. I'm missing every single shot. I'm absolutely throwing. Holy shit. Did I really miss that guy? What was this lineup I had? Like, this. Something like that. I actually don't think I lined that up properly. I forget where I stand. Good shot. Very nice, very nice. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh my god. So lucky. Enemy fast attack choppers coming in from the northwest. Roger that. Enemy helos approaching from the I, northwest. I think there's still enemies around somewhere. I don't know where the enemy is. I genuinely have no clue. Okay, good. Could have been better. His last two are a bit sketchy. Nice big hops though. God. I believe this is another level where the actual strat is just go faster. So we're going to try and do that right now. Never mind, I'm getting wrecked anyway. I think it's just random. I might die. Don't bully. Oh god, okay. We're good. Terrifying. You go slower and never get beaten by that MG? Maybe that makes sense. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> the MG is just weird. Does boat scene count as cutscene? Which boat scene? We fall over the waterfall? Yes. We drive the boat? No. Six. We've lost 
all contact with Disciple 5. Check it out, over. Door charge planted. Ready to breach. Hit it. Breaching, breaching. Oh god, don't do that. <laughs> that one's always sketchy because it leaves a few people alive and it's so bad when it chooses to be like that and just leaves like only the close people alive that bully you. Easy game. What would even be the best LMG for that section? I feel like every LMG is kind of bad too. Like, the LPD is decent, I guess. Is the MG40 better? The L86 LSW was like the best SN the best LMG for shooting people, um, but it has slow movement, <laughs> so that kind of sucks. Okay, now I just have to avoid every single RPG. I fired that RPG so early. That actually hit me. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was terrifying. I was about to say something about how that RPG is one of the least avoidable ones, because he can just fire anywhere, anytime. With such an accuracy, it's like impossible to know. It is usually pretty unlikely you get shot after getting hit by it, but you never know. Terrified of this helicopter. Yep, I knew that was gonna do that. Troll. Trice is, I mean, Soap is just shepherd. <laughs> is this gonna come flying in out of nowhere? Damn, these rappers are a little bit bad. I don't know what I hit there. He's a hundred meters away. He had so much speed down the rapids. It's crazy. I mean, before I soft lock now because of that. Actually, I don't even know if soft lock's even possible anymore with with the new end trigger. It would be pretty tragic if it was. I guess this stream's gonna be like a similar length to a regular MW2 stream, if not a little bit shorter. <laughs> Got the run I'm very happy with. Like this is, this is actually a great run. Just a couple of things that weren't amazing. Lucens just wasn't like insane, but it wasn't bad either. I've missed so much chat. Like I just have not been looking at chat through all of Act 3, I swear to god. Which Andy finished Act Co 2, yeah. Yeah, I was expecting to stream for like an extra hour than this. But this is not, like, not only, I just wanted a 39. This is, a, this is a low 39. This is very nice. If I don't choke the uh, the knife board, this should be gold endgame as well. Because that, that was the fastest boat section I've had, I think. I mean, Lightspeed Shepherd is less waiting, right? So, it shouldn't be patched. <laughs> I'm hoping for 39.15, but I kind of don't think so. I think my gold here is actually pretty good. 
We'll see. But damn, yeah, I'm like a minute off some of the best. That's actually kind of crazy. Because I don't think this has less RNG than a uh, base game. Well, I guess. 39.17. I'll take that. That was really good. Thanks for the sub. One second off. So what happened? Um, damn, there was literally nothing. There was no major mistakes. I was a little bit slow at stair skip. That took like five or six tries or something, and I didn't get like the best RNG on Lucian's clear. There was actually like zero real mistakes in that run, that's crazy. That's one of the best runs I've ever done, I think. Oh, Exodus! That's right. I <laughs> I missed the skip on Exodus and got the best checkpoint I've ever seen, and lost like five seconds. Damn. Yeah, I mean, like I got stuck on the tables in Cliffhanger and lost like three seconds. It was, I think the 5 seconds on Exodus was the biggest, like, mistake time loss. And then that was just like, Gulag stairs and loose ends. It's basically RNG. That was really good. May as well submit those Act 2 and Act 3s as well, I guess. Act 2 is going to be super beatable if someone wants to grind it, but I don't know if I would bother. <laughs> And the Act 3 wasn't amazing either, because, like, if you wanted to grind that for the crazy loose ends RNG, but that doesn't all sound like a fun time. Damn, I guess I'm doing Ghost Sweater in next stream. Now make the TAS. Yeah, I totally know how to do that. <laughs> 